Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I hope your week has been off to an amazing start. So in today's video, you guys, I thought I'll share with you some pre-fall or early fall decorating ideas. Even though we're not in the full season of fall yet and when i'm not in the full decorate mode for fall i thought i'll share with you some simple ways that you can start to get your home fall ready and start transitioning your home for fall so we're in my entryway so we're going to be styling up this credenza here and i'm going to share with you a few ideas that you can do a few looks that you can do to incorporate a little bit of fall into your home early without filling it up with pumpkins and things like that so i'm going to start off with this vase here i got this vase from home goods i love the texture I love the size so I always love to decorate with florals or stems but for fall this season I really wanted to just focus on stems so I'm gonna be using several picks that kind of mimic branches that you will see out in nature I found these at home goods a few years back and I absolutely love the color and the texture on it, it just kind of gives you a little bit of simplicity of adding a little touch of fall in your home without doing too much. So I have three branches here that I'm going to fill with this vase. And one easy way that you can add the touch of the season or the change of the new season into your home is in with is with your floral designs or with adding some beautiful stems or picks. It just really gives you an instant uh, refresh and instant look without doing a whole lot. So for me, fall signifies a change and change is always good. So I always try to incorporate a few moody colors or a few pops of color around the fall season. So I have these hurricanes that I got from CB2. I absolutely love these. I use these all year round, but they are perfect for fall. They come in two different sizes, a large and a small, and they do still have these available. They are just absolutely stunning and they just kind of adds a really nice, um, sophisticated touch to your um, entryway or your table they're just a really good versatile piece you also can use these as small vases as well so i'm going to add this to my credenza i'm going to also add in some uh, pillar candles as well next i'm going to add in these coffee table books i had these for a while these are just some of my staple books that i absolutely love i do read these books and i do actually skim through the pictures getting into inspiration for design ideas so they are uh, actual good resource so i'm just trying to keep with the same color palette and add them to my uh my table here I found this little leaf trivet tray at Hobby Lobby years ago, but it's perfect for using it for tablescapes or just kind of using it as a catch-all. So here I'm going to add in some beautiful um, faux acorns to it. I got these from Hobby Lobby as well last year. I just love the texture on these. I have a little bit of dusting of gold and it have kind of almost like a um, cement look to it. So I'm going to add two of them to this tray. And then this is the final look of the style number one. I absolutely love it. This is a uh, really transitional. You can leave this up all throughout fall, or you can definitely, um, if you're not really big on colors for fall or whatever, this is definitely a nice neutral um, look that you can pull off in your home. So for the next look, I'm going to be using this vase that I got from Home Goods. It has a really nice texture on it and a matte ivory color so even though i'm using ivory color my stems that i'm going to be putting in it are very dark so they kind of add a nice contrast i'm going to be adding these picks these are actually some christmas picks that i got from balsam hill i use these for my christmas in july campaign to create a, a nice garden themed tree and i absolutely love these picks because they look like branches but they have a really pretty gold beading on the tips of it that kind of looks like little beads of flowers on it to me so i'm going to be using like six or seven to fill out this vase i'll have these linked down in the description box below um, if you guys are interested but they just kind of look like naked branches to me so it just gives me a really simplistic look it adds that really neutral color that dark moody color for fall and then it also kind of just gives me a nice statement um centerpiece as well
I love using bowls and trays on my credenzas or either my um, entryway table because I think it's a really good way to display some really simplistic um, items or corral some items together. So I have this marble kind of scallop bowl that I got from Home Goods a while ago. I absolutely love the details on it. It's actually a dupe for one that I've seen at CB2. So it's, this one is very affordable. It's only $49 compared to a couple of hundred dollars at CB2. So I'm going to use this to fill up with some acorns this is a really simple way again to add in a touch of fall without doing too much i use this tray a lot in my home you probably have seen it plenty of times i've added um both artichokes to it lemons limes different things for for different seasons so it really is a nice versatile piece I'm also going to add in some more of my favorite home decor books, but this time I'm using the ones that are in the color palette white. Whenever you're decorating with um, home decor books or any kind of coffee table books, you always want to make sure those books stick to your same color palette that you have going on with your um, displays or your looks. Next, I'm going to add in this marble candle holder. I got that from Target, and then I'm going to add in one of my fall candles from Bath & Body Works. This one is in the scent of leaves. So this completes the style number two. So we're gonna try, play around with some few more looks and see what I can come up with. So at the end, I'll actually show you guys which look I'm gonna stick with, but for now, we're gonna play around with some different designs. So this vase I actually found from a thrift store a while ago. I love the shape of it, but I um, always have a hard time finding the right stems in it. I found these stems from Hobby Lobby. These is a new purchase, actually. These branches are very long. I love it because they have a really nice, like I said, simplistic look. It has a really dark chocolate brown color to it. Perfect for fall. And then it has just like, the branches are just real simple. So I'm going to put a bunch of these stems together just to kind of give a dramatic look and just play around and see how it uh, displays. Next, I'm going to add in this black bowl. I got this from Home Goods, and then I'm going to add in some of those faux acorns that I shared with you in the previous clip from Hobby Lobby. But this time, instead of adding two, I'm going to add in eight to this bowl to give it a more fuller look. So this is what the look is looking like so far. I like what I have going on, but I don't like this vase. I really like these stems and I think the vase is just not doing it any justice. So I'm gonna change out the vase and try something a little bit more taller and see if it gives us a different vibe. So I'm gonna bring this vase back that I shared in a previous clip. I think this one will be a little bit more better for these tall stems. And I did have to bend them a little bit just to kind of make them a little bit shorter, but um, for the previous vase, but I'm gonna unbend them for this one and see if it give us a different look. And you don't necessarily have to use as many stems as I'm using, you can also just use a few. If you would like, some people like a more um, really minimal look, but for me, I'm gonna add in um, all of these stems to this vase. And then when you have these stems and branches, you definitely want to make sure you kind of open them, play around with them, bend them till you actually get your desired look. So next on the left, I'm gonna add in these candle holders. I had these for a few years now from Pottery Barn. So I'm gonna add those to um, the left side. I'm gonna add in some pillar candles to our candle holders. This is in a really pretty gray. I got these from Hobby Lobby as well. Next, I'm gonna add in these faux decorative boxes. I got these from Kirkland's. They are sold individually, but I'm using, a, using them as a set here. There's a small one and then a medium size one. And 
and then this completes this look i really love how this is looking like but i'll actually take these stems out and show you how they look with the uh base with those other stems that we got from Com from home goods so that way you can kind of get a picture of how this style is looking So now I'm going to take all of this down and then share with you one final look. And then this final look is actually how I ended up leaving the um, entryway for the pre-fall look. And then we're going to move on to adding a few more transitional pieces to the rest of the room. I always get questions regarding the artwork that I have above this credenza. It is from Lamps Plus. I do have another, um, the exact same one on the opposite side above the sofa. And the credenza is from Homery. So now I'm going to go ahead and style the final look. I always like to put a lamp on my entryway table, just kind of add some nice lighting. I'm going to add in this lamp. I got this from Home Goods. I absolutely love the texture on it and the structural look that I have on it. So I'm going to add this to, um, the entry. I think it just adds a nice balance. Next, I'm going to add in this white vase. This is actually one of my favorite vases. I got this from West Elm. I actually have a the large one and a smaller one. They do still have it available if you guys are interested. So I have it linked down in the description box below. Next, I'm going to add back that black bowl with the uh, faux acorns in it. I really love this look, so I'm going to add this back to um, the credenza next to this vase. And then also going to put back my coffee table books, but I'm going to add the white ones back. And then I'm gonna add in my candle holder again. And then I'm gonna add in this candle is actually from TJ Maxx, it's from Sand and Fog. It has a rose, the scent is rose and sandalwood. It smells amazing. So I'm gonna add this candle to um, this candle holder. And then this completes the look, you guys. I absolutely love how this looks. Uh, how this look turned out. I think it's a really good transitional look to kind of move me into the fall season. So I wanted to add in a doormat from my by my front door just so people can have somewhere to um, kind of dust their feet off when they're coming inside the house. So I found this one brand new in my fall bin from last year. I never even used it. So I'm going to use it by my front door. I think I got this from Joanne. But it's real simplistic. It kind of have a really nice texture to it. And it uh, flows really well with the existing rugs that I already got in this space. So I'm going to go ahead and add this to my um, front door as well. I did go ahead and um, add in these rug grippers because the rug do slide. These are some of my favorite rug grippers. It really have leaves your rugs in place. I'll have these linked down in the description box below. I did pick these up from Amazon. And I did go ahead and style my bookshelf off camera just to save time. So this is kind of what the look is that I um, have already in place for fall. Just kind of changed out. I pretty much use, leave this bookshelf the same, but I just kind of changed out a few key pieces. And the bookshelf is from um, CB2. So now we're going to go ahead and move over to my dining room. So for this space, I'm pretty much just going to swap out a few key pieces. I'm going to change out the vase and I'm going to remove these stems. And then I'm going to add in those smoky candle holders that I got from CB2 that I showed y'all earlier in the video, just to kind of use that to add in my um, transition for fall. So to this credence, I'm going to add in this large vase. I had this for a few years now. I think I got this from Home Goods as well. I'm going to add in those stems that I got from Hobby Lobby because I think it really looks nice in this vase.
So uh, to this credenza, I'm going to add in this marble bowl. I show share with y'all in the beginning of the video. So as you can see, I'm using some of the same items. I'm just kind of pushing, repositioning them throughout the home in a different spots. So I found this vase filler from Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby actually has all of their fall decor and everything like 40% off. So I love using vase fillers in these bowls. If you don't have any faux pine cones or acorns, this is a great option as well. And I always usually take a little bit of essential oils and like eucalyptus or whatever your favorite scent is to add to it to kind of use it as a room freshener as well. Okay, you guys, so now I really do love how this area has turned out. As you can see, I came with the same similar um, elements that I have going on to the right since they're right, ne right next to each other. And I absolutely love how both of them turned out. So now we're going to move on to my formal living room space. And then for this space, I'm just going to change out a few key pieces just to kind of get this room kind of fall ready. So I found these pillows in my stash. I got these from the at home store a few years ago. It's just a really nice ivory color on the back and then it has like a lighter kind of cream color on the front. And I'm gonna add in these pretty kind of dark tan color pillows that I got from Target a few years ago. And then I'm gonna add, I think the taller ones are 22 by 22 and then these smaller ones are 20 by 20. And then next to add in a pop of color, I'm gonna add in these smaller 10 by 12 pillows. I shared with these pillows with y'all from a haul um, that I recently had. These are from Amazon, where well, they're pillow covers from Amazon, those little small green ones. And then these larger pillows, I got these from um, an influencer here on, um, not YouTube, but Instagram. And so I have her link down in the description box below. I don't think these particular pillows are still available, but um, nonetheless, I'll have a link down in the description box below her uh, web page if you guys are interested. So this is what everything is looking like so far. And then when it actually comes to fall season, I probably end up just swapping out a few pieces just to kind of add in that extra fall touch. But most of the stuff I'll pretty much keep the same. Same trivet tray that I shared with y'all in a previous clip and I'm gonna add in these cute little decorative pieces I did get these from inspire me home decor so I think they come in a size small and large For my coffee table, I'm gonna get ready to style it. I'm gonna use that same vase that I had over on the other side in the dining room, and I'm gonna use that to add in these full branches. Next, we're gonna add in this wood trivet tray. I think I got this from Hobby Lobby um, a few years ago as well. And I'm gonna add this with some vase filler and add some essential oils to it as well. So I love lighting candles. And since I have a candle already burning over on the other side, I'm gonna add in these faux candles from um, Amazon. So this is what the area is looking like. I absolutely love how everything has turned out. As you can see, I tried to add in um, more things that you will find out in nature. I do have a lot of greenery already in my home because I have several live plants in this space already. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and wash off this side table, this little table I got from Home Marie. I'm just gonna clean it off. And then on this, I'm just gonna add in one of my live plants um, just to add a pop of greenery to the space on this side of the room. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. It really helps out my channel a lot. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button to have you as part of our decorating family. And to all of my beautiful subscribers, hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Thank y'all for stopping by and watching another video. Thank you all so, so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.